beautiful people, what's up? Welcome to another video. It's that time of month again where I post my monthly favorites. And because last month was December, way to go Anna, you know your months. So because last month was December and Christmas obviously falls in December, my favorites are pretty massive this month. My bad. I'm so sorry. But there's just so many things I love and I needed to share it with you guys. So without any further ado, let's get right into the favorites, all right? First thing I want to talk about is beauty. First thing I want to mention is this. This is the Tarte Cosmetics Rainforest of the Sea palette. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a little story about this palette right here. So when I first saw the Rainforest of the Sea collection coming out, and I saw this palette, and I saw the colors in it, I was in love. I was counting down the days so it was out in stores, and so when it finally came out, I was like, I don't care. I'm going to spend the money on it, treat myself, and get it. Went to the store, and they were sold out. Literally all sold out. Every single time I went to Sephora, they were always sold out. So when I recently went in, well not recently, before Christmas, I went into Sephora to go buy presents for friends. They had it, and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get this. And they finally have it in stock, and I was like, this needs to be in my life. But I couldn't, because I need to buy gifts for everyone else, and didn't want to be selfish. So I was like, you know what, I'll get it after Christmas, if they still have it, it was meant to be. But no worries guys, because I got it. My sister's boyfriend bought it for me. But I want to mention the absolutely stunning cover of this. I love it. Can we talk about these colors? And also, I want to talk about the names of these colors. So you have Sand, Mermaid, Seashell, Wave, Abyss, Reef, Starfish, and Cove. Those are such cute names. And this mirror is absolutely massive. I literally do my makeup in this mirror because it's so big and it just, it's so convenient to hold. It's not that heavy. You get to wrap your hand like this. And it's just great. I absolutely love it. And the colors are absolutely stunning. They are super pigmented and they're so easy to blend out. And there's just such neutral colors that using this on a regular basis is something that I definitely tend to do because the colors are so easy to wear. And you don't have to go all out with these. Love it. Next thing I want to talk about is another makeup palette that I wanted to get last year when it came out, but once again, couldn't get it because of Christmas. And this year, couldn't get it because of Christmas, but I got it for Christmas from my sister. And it's this, which is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. The colors in this palette are absolutely stunning. I love them. I reach for this palette as much as I reach for this palette now. These are my go-to's right now. Honestly, no word of a lie, my go-to palettes. So this is the outside, obviously, the packaging. I love it. I love the little peaches here. I like the ombre effect that it has here. It's just beautiful. When you go in, look at these colors. And on top of it, they smell like peaches. Two-Face, how do you do it? Now I understand the chocolate bar palette has cocoa powder in it but this how do you make them smell like peaches it's a mystery we'll never solve it tell you we'll never solve it but these colors are absolutely stunning once again very easy to wear very neutral you can also go with uh, slightly dramatic and I absolutely love it cannot wait to do a tutorial for you guys using this palette moving on from makeup palettes to makeup brushes my storybook Harry Potter wand brushes. I love these brushes. They're so soft. They're great quality. So here you go. Those are the brushes. I tend to go with this one a lot because I use it for my inner corners. I use this one for the under eyes and then this one to blend out my makeup. These two I do use occasionally, but I still need to find a reason to use them, but I still absolutely love them. I have nothing bad to say about these brushes other than that I love them so damn much, and I reach for them every single time I do my makeup. 
thank you storybook cafe you guys are geniuses now moving on to hair products and hair things first thing i want to talk about is this now i don't necessarily know what this is called it's a hair tie and um when I was younger, I actually used to see these on teachers' wrists when they had their keys attached to them, but now they use as hair ties. Basically, you put your hair in a, in a ponytail using this, and you can literally have your hair up for like 10 hours, take it down, and it's as if your hair has never been up, which is something that works wonders for me. Because I work in a place where I have to constantly have my hair up, and I work eight to nine hour shifts, sometimes a little less, depending on how busy we are and how great the workers are. Ha! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> little shout out, you know who you are. Anyways, so because my hair is up for so long and then I get home around one, two, depending on the day, like I said, I honestly still have an entire day to do things. So when I t used to take my hair out for work, I'd have to either straighten it or I'd have to wash it again because of the like the bump that was in my hair. I wear this and no problem. Take my hair out, brush it out, I'm ready to go. I'm good to go, honestly. So if you guys are contemplating on trying this, strongly suggest you do. Next thing that I have in my favorites is this. Now this is a texture spray, it's called Texture Tees. Because I have thin and flat hair, I was looking for a product that would help me make it look fuller and have more volume to it. Now this is the Grimey Fructis Texture Tees. Basically what you do is that you split your hair, so you take it like so, and then obviously divide it like that. Spray this into the roots right here, and then all you would do is sort of rub it into your hair, and it literally gives you more volume. Strongly recommend this. And it smells great, too. We're going to talk about some random favorites. First thing I want to talk about is this. My Christmas bedding. I have been looking everywhere for Christmas bed sheets, and let me tell you guys, I found them at Walmart. What a mission it was to find them. My bed frame is a double. My sheets are actually a single, and everywhere that I went in Walmart, they only had doubles and queens, which don't fit my, my sheets because they're obviously smaller than that. Then I stumbled across this one, and I was like, I need to get it. I need to get my life. So, it's this cute little pattern that has a reindeer, Santa Claus, it has penguins on it, it has a polar bear on it, and I absolutely love it. It's so cute, it's so festive. And I honestly don't ever want to change my sheets because I love Christmas and these sheets, I love them just as much. But look how cute they are. And they just make the room look so festive. Who doesn't love a festive room? I know I love a festive room. We're gonna move on to this. It's a hat. And I am obsessed with it. So I as you guys know, I'm a massive fan of Zoe, also known as Zoella on YouTube. I was watching her vlogmas, and I believe it was in the vlog where she was going to get the Christmas tree with Alfie and his family, and she was wearing this hat. I was on the hunt to look for this hat everywhere. It's not because Zoe was wearing it, it's because it's so damn cute. I love cute little quirky hats like this. These little like toques that they, they say. like. Can we talk about how freaking cute this is? Like I was saying, I didn't get this hat because Zoe had it. I got it because I love it. It's so cute and it goes with basically everything. It keeps my head warm. It sits on my head properly. I sometimes find it hard to find a hat that sits nicely on my head and I love it. And it is my winter staple right now. And I think I'm gonna keep this hat on for the rest of the video. Next thing I wanna talk about is something that I literally live in. And it's this, my roots sweatpants. My sister got these for me for Christmas. These are the men's sweatpants in medium, and they have pockets here on the side because the women's sweatpants don't have pockets. Why, you ask? I don't know. Why is it that women's pants never have damn pockets in them? Do we not carry things? Is it because we carry purses? 
Sometimes we want to be lazy and like a guy and put our hands in our pockets, okay? These pants are so comfortable. They're so warm. I literally live in these sweatpants. I wanted to wear them for this video, but I was like, I can't because I need to put them in the video, so I can't wear them. Next thing I want to talk about is this. It is my Olivia Burton watch that I got from my best friend for Christmas. A little backstory with this watch. So, last year for Christmas, just before Christmas or a couple months beforehand, my best friend sent me a picture of a watch that Zoe was wearing in her video. And she's like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. I can't find it in any of the stores. And she's like, I need it in my life. So, me being a good best friend that I am, I literally zoomed in to see if I could figure out the make or the company of the watch that she was wearing. Found that it was Olivia Burton. What a mish it was to get the watch down here from the UK and actually deliver it to my house. It was unreal and it was stressing me out and causing me so much anxiety. But that is besides the point. So I got her the watch and she loved it. I was tempted to keep it for myself and give her something else, but I was like, nah, be, gotta be a good best friend and give her what she wants. So I gave it to her. So she got me my very own Olivia Burton watch, and I love it. It literally lives on my wrist. If you guys want to see where I got, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below. I'll leave a link for it. If I can find a link for everything, I'll leave it down in the description box down below for you guys. Something that you guys can't see right now, but something that I love, and thank you to my amazing sister for getting it for me. She got me a tripod for Christmas. Now this makes filming videos for you guys a lot easier for me because when I used to film, I used to have to find a surface that was high enough and then I'd be able to pile things on top so that I could have the perfect height for my camera and the height was always different because I can never remember what I put where in what order. So I struggled a lot when it came to filming videos. I was looking into buying a tripod. But my sister actually got me one for Christmas, and I absolutely love it, so I cannot wait to start filming more videos. I realized I've had, or I have, a lot of favorites, guys. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to something that, something that I think is absolutely amazing. Not amazing, it's fun. And it is this. This is a play ball rainbow, so basically, it is a light bulb that you put into your light fixture. You can put it on your wall or into a lamp or anything. You then download an app that you connect to with Wi-Fi. And you can change the color of your light in your room. So my parents stumbled across this at a store. They saw it. They said it screamed me. So they got it for me for Christmas. Let me tell you guys, I absolutely am in love with this, especially when I'm sitting in my room watching a movie or watching something on Netflix, instead of having just to turn off the lights, I literally just change the setting of the light in my room to usually blue. You can sit in your bed and you can actually turn off the light from your bed and not have to worry about getting up and having to turn off this, like, the switch. The only downfall with that is that it's actually still on because the light switch is still up or down or depending on which way your light switch is. After that, which is something that I'm currently using while we're doing this video, is my Erin Compton planner. So I did an unboxing on this. I basically talked more about it in there. If you guys want to see it, I'll leave the link down below. And um, there's nothing more that I can say about this other than the fact that I love it and I cannot wait to start planning more in here and jotting down everything I've done, such as my December favorites. Yeah, it keeps me on track, guys. The last two things that I want to talk about. Now, the first thing is actually a pair that I got from my brother and, his, and my sister-in-law. I was going to call her his girlfriend, but they're not because they're, they're married now, so she's my sister-in-law. Anyway, so the first thing I got is this. For those of you guys who do not know, I am a massive Blue Jay fan, which means that anything Blue Jays makes me smile. Anything Aaron Sanchez, on the other hand, makes me smile even more. <laughs> so my brother and my sister-in-law got me a lanyard for my keys, and it had Sanchez on it, his number, which is 41, and it's signed. It's not really signed, but it is signed. So one side is like this, and then the other side is white. And I love it. I used to have my keys on a Blue Jays, just a standard Blue Jay one. And I loved it because I could represent the Blue Jays, but now, not only do I represent the Blue Jays, 
I represent Aaron Sanchez. Now another thing that I got for them, which I love, and it's a little dorky, and it's a little kind of weird to put it into my favorites because it's still basically wrapped, is this. This is a Aaron Sanchez poster. It's just a Sanchez and the Toronto Blue Jays on it. Very simple. Anna, why do you love it so much? Because it represents the Blue Jays. It represents Aaron Sanchez. It represents something that makes me extremely happy. And I cannot wait to put this on my wall. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Because we are moving. So there's no point in putting it on just yet on a wall. So I'm going to either put it above my TV because that is where I watch Blue Jay games or somewhere else on a wall. But I feel like I'm gonna put it over the TV because I feel like it makes more sense. But I love it. I actually really love it. Then the last thing that I got, so there was one thing that I really, really wanted to get. Not necessarily for Christmas, but something I wanted to get for myself. I did end up purchasing it, but I got this instead for Christmas from my sister's boyfriend, which is the Harry Potter Mystical Beast game. So here is the outside perimeter of Hogwarts. Nope, this is the inside. So you have your classrooms in here, you have your houses in here, as well as on the other side, you have the outside. So you have like the Great Lake, the Whomping Willow, you actually have Hogwarts here, Quidditch Pitch and all that stuff. All these great things. And it switches from here to here. Now the point of it switching is when you land on a P, on a P you're safe. If you land on a dice on a P, you have to switch over the board game to this side. And so there are little things like this scattered all over the, the game board. So on the outside you have classification and you have location. And then on this side you have size and color. You're given cards to basically figure out what magical beast you are, depending on the cards that you have received while landing on them on the game board. Then, using this and all of the sort of criteria that you are given on the cards that you have received while on the game board, you figure out what magical beast you are. And it's great. I love it. You have like a phoenix, a pixie, a mer person. And I, it's such a fun game to play because you constantly never know if you are switching over, like with the P, for instance. We used to land, there was one game when we landed on it nonstop and no one was winning and we eventually gave up because there was just no point in it anymore. But yeah, it's a great game. It's a lot of fun to play. And I'm really glad that I got it. And those are all my favorites of the month of December. Most of them were actual Christmas presents, but I'm not trying to brag in any means, I just absolutely love them and I wanted to share them with you guys. So, I did. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that little red button down to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. In the comments down below, let me know what your favorite Christmas present was that you guys got this year. And I will leave all of my social media links down below, as well as in this corner right over here, so you guys can give me a cheeky little follow on all of those. And that is it, so once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. To make a thumbnail. How are we gonna do this? We got it. Got the thumbnail. We nailed it. <laughs> ah, the puns. The puns. Hey, my beautiful people. Hey, my beautiful boo. It's like a tongue twister, I tell ya. Because I am. Damn garbage truck. Hurry up, man. I'm trying to film a video right here, bro. You done yet? You done? Side. <laughs> Let me just. There's four. There's one missing, guys. Where'd it go? And then I use this. It's stuck on my finger. It's stuck on my finger. She meant. Like that. I went.
tongue tie today. <laughs> Volume. <laughs> but my bed sheets are a twin. A twin? A single. They're single. Yes. <laughs> They're single just like me. <laughs> and it's wet. I think it's actually actually. Oh yeah.